My name is Joel Duggan and this is The Citadel. It is a survival multiplayer server where myself and friends do geeky stuff in Minecraft like giant netherwort farms that we never use and uh, cool piston melon farms that we do use quite a bit and has been pumping out all kinds of melons. We're almost full. So after this is full, it's going to start sending stuff onto the greenhouse, which is exciting. And uh, I did move this farm from the last time we, that we did uh, did this design. The farm was up a little bit farther and this path wasn't here. So I've come in, you know, on my evenings and kind of touched things up a little bit, which I think is good. So I'm quite happy with that. But the first thing I wanted to do, uh, we were discussing a few things in the Spawn Chunks Discord, which if you're not familiar, the Spawn Chunks is a podcast that I do with Pixel Riffs and it's all about Minecraft. And uh, we're actually recording a new show tomorrow. Uh, but I was talking about a new design for a spider for the spider farm that i did and all the problems that stemmed from it so i thought it would be a really cool thing to do at the start of this show or this episode rather is to uh showcase the changes that i made and uh and then some of the redstone stuff i had to come up with because in fixing our farm and making it more efficient i also broke the system that was taking care of all the drops because the drops just became crazy uh, so we needed to uh, we needed to up the uh, up the ante, I guess, as it were, uh, on uh, on the spider farm. So wow, hello creeper, glad I saw you there. I mean everything's stone; it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but still, dislike. Let's get up here. This is always tricky because of the button. So everything in here is the same as far as where you stand and what you do. Uh, so if you are new to the server, uh, or if you are not familiar with this kind of a farm, we've got three spider spawners. One of them is through here. Actually, I think we can see all three of them from over here. There's one. Uh, there's two. And the third is actually just over there in that room. Uh, to the, it's, this is one big room. So there's another one just over here. So these are the three, the three spawners. Uh, I'm still experimenting with signs and I'm trying to keep the spiders from crawling up the walls. Uh, this is redstone for that lamp, so that has to be there. Same with this. This is kind of decor for the room next door. So it's not the perfect spawner as far as, uh, you know, efficiency inside, but there's three of these things, so it really doesn't matter uh, too much at all. So the improvements that I made were to the, uh, the waterway. So previously, what's the best way to do this? I guess I can just hop over here. Previously, the water stream was coming up way back here because this was an old 1.12 design that I found uh, and I had just copied it and it was pushing the spiders over here and they were being caught underneath a slab and everything was hunky-dory until 1.13 dropped and the way that spiders move in water changed and so it became a real problem to try and capture everything. So what we did, uh, I say we, what I did, I moved the the collection system over to a block and I also corrected an error that I had made. I had this bubble column uh, and I had a piston that was pushing a piece of glass to cut it off when we wanted to shut off the farm to make sure no spiders got up here just in case bad things happen. Turns out that was uh, destroying the bubble column halfway up. So they were taking a really long time to get up to the surface here. So there's two things that happen here. Uh, one, they're coming up faster. And two, there's only two spaces for the spiders to be in. And they're they're jammed underneath uh, this uh, iron bar by the flowing water. And uh, so what happens is you use this stair, I guess, orientation to be able to hit them through that space. Now, it's important not to be hit here swinging when there's nothing there because there's glass and other things in there uh, that need to not be broken. If there's spiders here though, and you've got a sword, then uh, there's no problem and they, it works really, really well. So let's pop over here. So through here is all the redstone for everything. And this is, the other spawner is like right underneath here and like underneath that light. So the button on the wall in the, uh, in the farm turns on and off all of this redstone. And it used to um, connect to a piston down through here. And the piston was hooked up to this spot here and the piston was actually blocking this off here but you can see it at this point that was a bad idea uh, so now the, the spiders go straight up every now and again you do get a spider that gets caught on this hopper it's not the end of the world uh, they either get knocked by a friend or they just give up and go up or you just don't get one spider but when you've got three spawners pumping out spiders it's it's not a big deal but now this is just a way for the redstone 
uh, to get to the sides. So this piston powers all of the lamps that are on the sides of the uh, of the area. So if we just jump in here, I wonder if I can get this without losing it. I got it. Got it. So here are the inside of the spawner. We've got these two spawners here. So these lights around the outside need to be here in order to prevent spawning and uh, when we turn it off. And so this piston is what's powering all of that, which is which is really cool. And then the where is it? All the drops come in through these hoppers, go down here and into just your standard kind of dropper clock and they spit into a water stream and they head on their way. More on that in a bit because that's another thing that broke. But what's cool about this, if we turn it on, is that it'll turn off this light, it'll get dark in here, but everything is spawn proof, which is cool. And we'll start to see spiders come up right away. So let's turn on the farm. Grab our super awesome sword of spider death and wait. Now for this, you have to stand on the top front corner. And that's just because of where the orientation is for these, um, these uh, spawners. It's a shame custom worlds were removed in 1.13. I miss being able to have spawners mixed maxed to 100. Yeah. I, I'm surprised we actually found the spawners because I didn't really tweak the spawning settings. I might have increased it from like a setting of five to a setting of six, but I didn't max it out. I uh, I don't want necessarily the spawners to be more efficient, but it is cool when you find more than one spawner uh, for XP and stuff like that. So so I'm not going to let this go on for too long. Um, what I'll do now is I'll turn I'll turn the light back on. So that'll stop more spiders from spawning. Uh, but as you can see already, there's quite a few in here. Now it's not going to show up as dramatically uh, on my on my bar because I've um. Well, here let's repair my pickaxe. That'll be a good idea. Let's just go down, switch out the sword here, and we'll see how long it takes to repair this pick while we're here. It should not be terribly long because there's already a ton of spiders in there. Yeah, cave spiders, man. Uh, I did not die as often as I thought I was going to when I built this farm. I thought it was going to be crazy, but once you've lit up the spawners, it's not the end of the world. Should not hold that, because that's got mending on it as well. Well, I'm going to call that fixed. Nearly nearly done. That was about half dead, so that's, that's a win for me. Uh, so we'll put the sword back. This sword stays here, uh, because it has Bane of Anthropods and Sweeping Edge on it. But that is, uh, that's the new, the new fix to the spider farm. And it sort of looks like a, a spider, which I thought was, was kind of cool. This decor was here before, but, but this is much darker and, and more ominous looking. And of course that setup is, is new as well. So I'm really happy with that. Now the thing about it, we'll see if there's any, any stuff popping out. Okay. So that's not working, but we can, we can demonstrate. We'll put in spider eyes and string. So this stuff gets spat out. And then we have to, to track it down. Let's put on our armor just in case. And so this was the thing that broke. I was in here working on this farm and of course there were spiders spawning all the time. So we've got these items that are coming in here. They're being shot along. They're cruising along and going into our storage system. And there was a ton of stuff, an absolute ton of stuff coming through here while I was working on fixing the farm. And the server crashed. We had a bunch of issues uh, with entity um, overload in the droppers. So if we come out here to the main entrance, there's a spot down here that I dug out that takes us to the uh, the elevator that takes this up to the storage system. I'll show the storage system next. But this over here was a single uh, bubble elevator with one hopper and, or one dropper. And then I had to add a second dropper and even then both of those droppers got completely owned by the sheer volume of stuff coming in. So the idea now is that uh, as items come in, they hit this trip wire on their way up. That starts the clock and the clock alternates between these two pistons, pushing these two andesite blocks back and forth. And when that happens, then the water stream either goes left or it goes right. And there are now four 
auto droppers around the base of this. So you can look down here, there's four droppers all facing into this water stream. So we've got double the capacity that we used to have. And because of the water stream, instead of a hopper and instead of a dropper system, because of the water stream separating items, we can control when the droppers are working. So when all the items are streaming in this way, those droppers are working really hard. And then when we switch, these droppers are going to work really hard, but it gives these droppers a chance to empty their inventories before more stuff comes in. Now, it's not a long time. It's about eight seconds, maybe uh, not even that. Uh, so I can demonstrate that by throwing some stuff. Uh, do I have stuff that I can throw? I'm trying to think about like what garbage things I might have. I might have some diorite that I can just toss in here just to kind of demonstrate. Yeah, I do. So let's just give this a nice even number like 30 and we'll do this. I guess we'll, I'll leave that there. So I can put all this stuff back in my house. I feel weird not having stuff in the right, right spot. So let's just block the water for now. Uh, we'll put a uh, die right there and die right there. So the die right is going to end up in these two, these two spots. But if we go back here and we throw all 30 bits of diorite in there one at a time. Now, not everything is going to be one at a time, um, but um, the majority of it is. Now, it's going to be hard to see, but we can try and do it this way. So you'll start to see the uh, tripwire going. So with a constant stream, it powers the clock. And the clock runs the pistons. You'll see the pistons go back and forth. So that stopped because it, it's defaulted to write. So there was 30 diorite that went in there. Now it's not 50-50 on the nose, but it's about 45-55. So there's 20 because we already had, I can't remember what we had in our in our inventory. But let's say let's say we picked up 15. And so this should be either 15 or 16 or something close. Right? So it's 16. So that 30 got divided pretty much in half. It was just one off. So I did that three or four times the other day, and it was accurate within one or two of 50% every single time. So all that's happening here is that there's a hopper clock here, and it's got eight items in it. And when this tripwire hook is consistently powered, it turns off this torch, which unlocks this, hopper, this uh, piston, and then the clock starts. And every time the clock starts, like if I just take this off, you'll see. Switch. Switch. So it's pretty fast. But it just slowly divides items 50% one way and then 50% the other. So I'll put that torch back here. And you'll see that this, after it finishes its cycle, it'll just stop. And it'll default to off. And when those items are shot down this way, they go on to this water stream and they either go into that hopper or this hopper, depending on which one is full. So there's a bunch of safety items and stuff in there, which is which is great. Uh, and then I will show you, you, everybody I believe has seen where they go, but we'll go take a look at that because we gotta, we gotta walk right by anyway. Thanks, Paranor, I'm glad that you like it. Uh, what server hosts do I use? Asks Orange Pineapple. I use Cubed Host. Uh, I've had I've had very good experiences with them. I really enjoy their Prisma software that they have on their website for managing the server. It's very easy to use, uh, and they have a lot of support documentation, that kind of thing. So this is the top of that water column. So we've got string and spider eyes being filtered in here. So we've got lots of string. We've got double chest to spider eyes. The overflow is sent on to the greenhouse and the garbage. I covered this on the stream a little while ago, uh, but I'm really happy with that that double water system below i just I, I had to showcase it on on a video because it was just it's so i really uh i've not seen one like that before and to come up with it on my own um i mean obviously the the hopper clock i believe is an etho design so that's that's nothing new uh but uh but the water stream system i thought was was pretty fun so here's the thing we've got this really pretty uh view of this little waterfall and this wall and this bridge and this wheat field and you can't really see it very well when you're coming across the bridge here like it's it's hidden and then it goes behind this and uh 
So I want to put a wraparound thing over here. I don't know if I'm going to do the the whole way around, but I do want to put out something at least to here, and we'll see what that looks like. So that's one thing we can do. And then the other thing that I did was I did some terraforming last night on this cave down here. So that was just a regular hole in the ground, Minecraft style. And what I decided to do is was decorate it and make it look a little bit prettier. And so it now has kind of like a more, more textured feel. It looks more like an inviting cave to go in and explore an adventure. I've not gone down here. It's a ravine, I think, but we haven't had the time to, uh, to really explore it. Um, but I did this kind of path and, and stuff. But while I'm down here, I was thinking like, oh, wow, yeah, I didn't finish the underside of the, didn't finish the underside of the bridge. And we still have all this netherrack scaffolding and stuff in here. So I think what I want to do, get up a little bit higher here so we can talk about it, is uh, I want to make this feel sturdier. Like this is a big building and these do not feel like they would support the build, big building. So I think what I want to do is I want to have this hollow and this hollow, but this is going to be solid. Uh, and then we're going to do, we'll do something else with that as well. I think this inside there will be solid, but we're going to knock it back a little bit. So we'll see what we can come up with. The first thing I want to do is take this, whoop, that's going to happen a lot too, uh, is take this down, which means we've got to get rid of these stairs inside here. So we can pillar up here because this is going to be the solid wall. Take that out and that out. And I have some ideas for this as well. That's not going to be just a solid wall, but, but I think that this is going to make this look a lot better from the get go. I think that this has a center point. Yes, it does. So let's just do that for now. And we can maybe change the texture of this later. Do that and we'll get rid of this and probably that too. Uh, your first stream here, the bridge was in focus. Looks like it's going to be the same for me. Uh, in focus? I'm not sure what you mean. The focus of the stream? Oh, 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 I follow. You mean you're you're saying for to Paranor that you know you're you're having the same experience. Yeah, it's funny because this was something that I did a long time ago. <laughs> uh, I guess we can just get rid of all this. Yes, I knew it. I see what you mean, Mark. Bruh, get out of here. Ugly scaffolding. Watch me need the scaffolding in like two minutes. I'm gonna be like, I need that back. Why did I get rid of it? Because it's gross looking. So this is gonna be smaller inside than I thought. And right away I'm kind of giving away what I'm gonna be doing with this. But eh. so this and again, these are gonna be it's gonna be textured, I think. But do 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 so this bridge is actually wider than i uh anticipated Ooh, what's happening there i guess we can just do slabs there and i'll have to do the same here yes probably just slab texture stuff happening above us but that should look okay So we're definitely gonna have to put some light in here. Just torches for now. We can sort out something nicer looking later. Uh, are there scaffolding blocks in Java yet? Nope, those are coming with 114. That's uh, that's where we are with, with those, which is fine. I don't care about the scaffolding. Are, are, is it something that you're looking forward to? Because it's not it's not on my hit list. What I want is is slabs, uh, stairs and slabs. That's, that's what I'm waiting for with 1.14. Really not much more I care about. Um, some of the new tables are neat, but I'm not, I'm not really seeing a big, big need for things. So 
Uh, that already should look a little bit more solid and lend us a little bit more support. Yeah. I mean, well, again, we'll make it feel more in with the build with some stone bricks and some stuff, but I think that's going to work out well. And the next phase is going to be the sides. So again, these things don't feel spectacular. Now here is where I'm not sure, I'm not sure what material I want to use. Stone is going to be my default, but then the pillars are not going to stand out like I want them to. I use scaffolding and bedrock and it's incredibly useful. Yes, I, I could potentially see that, but I, I don't know. For me, the, the process of using it, it just, it's so ugly. And I say that, and I mean, I, it's, I use, I knew, I use netherrack in the same way. There's no other use for netherrack. You don't necessarily build with netherrack, right? So what could we use? I guess we could maybe try acacia. Do I have acacia logs? I could try maybe this. I don't know if that's going to look sturdy enough though. Well, we'll try one side and see if we like the difference here. So I'm not going to expose the orange, but what I want to do here is much like we did over here. I want this to be solid. So this is going to look like this. Uh, how do I want to do this? I'm going to have to put a slab there. And there, and then what is this? If I break this, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So the idea is that this would also be solid, but it would be solid into here. We might leave some of this dirt, but not all of it. Andesite, Joel, ah, you could be onto something. That could be good. Andesite looks rougher. I don't want to do andesite, like polished andesite, just because um, I feel like that would uh, it would not look as good. Uh, I don't want the grid. Like I don't want a, a block that has like a border on it. Because otherwise I would use the smooth stone slabs and stuff, right? So I like this little half slab top part. We did that on the um, on the bridge down there too. This is really mostly hidden. So maybe it's not going to be as big of an issue as I thought. Um because gravel could maybe work there, but it's, I want it to look solid. Maybe we just pepper in some stone bricks. Like maybe we just don't do a whole blanket of it. So there's that. I don't think I like that. I, I think I'm going to prefer that look better. Uh, so let's do the other side uh, and we'll decide whether we're going to do stone or whether we're going to do acacia logs. I think we're going to have to come up with something else. I don't think it's going to be uh, the way to go, but we can also hide a lot of stuff with bushes and things. I think, oh, not there. I think the other thing I need to do is this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did I run out? I ran out. Uh, stone. Oh, we've got to make more. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. That's the wrong shulker. Uh, duly noted, guys. I'm writing it down. What are, what are we writing down, Plasmic? Am I going to hear about this later? Am I going to run into to issues later? I don't know if that's the right level for that stone. Is that there? And I think this bush, this bush is going to have to go at least inside here. Which really, the, the bush was hiding this mess underneath here was what, what the purpose of it was. Uh, 
And now I'm out of stone. I see this happening a lot. So right away, this is getting much cooler on the inside here. And we'll have to do something to uh, to, to arc it, like to, to create an arch in here that looks a little bit better. I'll have to decide that. But I wish there was a way to turn down just the bubble column noises. Does, do people know how to do that? Oh, gee. Speaking of hostile creatures, I can see a, creature, a creeper blowing the snot out of us if I didn't turn that back up. So yeah, this is already looking looking a lot better. But I think that's... So let's just see. So we're, just, we're looking at the two, the two sides. Oh, I need to jump up here. Come on. Yeah, that for sure. I think we maybe just need to bring the stone bricks down a little bit. Maybe create something special like a carved stone or something. We could turn them into entirely bricks from top to bottom. That could work. Maybe, maybe Paranora, I can take your andesite decision or suggestion and put it like at the bottom somewhere. I don't know. I need to look at how we structured this bridge. So the bridge is just, it's just stone, cracked stone, a little bit of cobble, but not much. And there's all some dark oak, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I like that better. So we'll get rid of the Get rid of the log. All right, so executive decision. We're not gonna do, um, we're not gonna do acacia. So this can go away. So the other thing I wanna do down here. Oh, yeah, I do, I do like that. Uh, so this needs to maybe be, I think that's the, deck of the bridge. I don't think I can break any of these blocks. Like I think that if I break this, I think it's just a straight up. Yep. It's just a straight up brick. Okay. So we have to build down. We can't carve up. So I think what we need to do in that case is lower the stairs for the bridge. So I think that this this arc here has got to come down by a block, I think is the first thing. So let's try that. Oh, we don't have to listen to Joel's rule. Yep, new rule, new rule. Uh, speaking of rules, I should I should mention that there's been some uh, some news about the rules in in Twitch and and uh, Discord. Uh, to me, anyway, you can now hook up uh, your Twitch and Discord to get an invite to my Discord server if you're a sub. Uh, that includes gift subs. So if you if you've been hit by the Cosmic Dancer gift sub stick, then uh, link up your Discord and Twitch, and then you should be able to see my Joel Duggan Discord server in your connections and your settings. Who's in there? A cosmic is a true purple, and uh, a couple of other people that we saw on stream the other day figured it out, and that's that's all all in there. I sent a tweet out uh, the other day that had uh, information on how to do it. So if you're looking for that, then check my Twitter feed, which is just Joel Duggan. Now, what is happening here? Okay, so let's just copy everything. And we can decide later if we want to destroy it. Remember when I said I was going to miss that scaffolding? Well, I'm missing it now. So I'm thinking that we just bring everything down exactly the same way that we had it before. Just one block lower. Why rock the boat? Because I like having, having this lip here, like having this be higher and darker than the outside. I also think that this little slit is going to be a cool... A cool feature and I think we're probably gonna have to bring I think we're probably gonna have to bring the stone bricks down to here and maybe we'll turn turn these into uh, can I do it here I can awesome those that or we can do like a, a recessed stair thing. We'll try both. Same idea, we're gonna lower this down 
uh, we have to pour that down sideways there, sideways there. I'm going to leave those as holes just because it might actually look cool. Um, and then we have to destroy these two. Now, this is what I was thinking the other, just a second ago. It could look good as well. It might not look solid enough, like it might not look powerful enough to hold things up, but we could do something like this and like that. Oh, wait a minute. Then those don't work. Well, that's fine, because then we can do this. Take that away and grab one of these. One of these is a solid. Where's a? There we go. Uh, that. And so then this also comes down. That becomes a solid. Then this becomes a stair. Like that. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so. I was right. I like the recess, but it does not look strong enough to hold up to hold up the bridge, does it? That's that's an issue. I feel like we're we're unable to see. You don't that really blends away, doesn't it? You don't see that from up here. It could be just a straight on angle. It might look different from from over this side. Yeah. Not good. So that's going to change. We'll, we'll default to this. Uh, I also think we have to even this out because this is now not symmetrical. So we'll do that and this. And then I think we can just do the same thing. We can probably do stair and then get up here, stair there and stair there. We'll fix that hole later, but I think that's going to be the design very samey, isn't it? There's not a lot of color changes. Do we have anything else that we can do as far as color and block choice in here that we can change the color? Because this is just all feeling really bland. I mean, it could be just because I'm down low and we're never going to look at it from down here. People are always going to be either up along here or not see it at all because they're actually on the bridge. We could put like a dark oak log because there's a lot of dark oak in this. What if we what if we had a dark oak log there with like a button on it? So let's grab some of these and we'll take this out here. We'll give this side the other the same treatment. We'll do get rid of that because we didn't like that. And let's put as if there's like some a wood strut that goes through the whole thing. We'll just make a button like that. And then I guess we could try stairs here again. What if we did that? Interesting. Uh, and then here and then there and then there again. And then I think it's probably best if we change this to stone. And as that Sort of, I think that's what we're sort of going for. Uh, maybe it looks off because the center is mostly flat stone. Yeah, you know, you could be, you could be right there too. Like that better. I absolutely like that better. It's a little weird because it doesn't line up with with the lantern. Uh, it lines up with with the, the groove, but let's go with that. That and the stair gives enough of a contrast with the shadow. I think that's what I'm looking for. We can find another place to put one of those fancy stone things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Decision made. Decision made. So this is a stair, which is good because then it'll look good from the other side. And then this is a log. And I, I want to try to maybe continue that log through. I don't know whether we can get away with it, but we can try. And then, I don't know, maybe we can put that stone thing here, Paranor. I, I see what you're saying, though. I see what you're saying about the smooth stone all the way down. 
see it. I see it. Let's see here. Go over there. Yep. I, I'm, for now, that's winning. For now, that's winning in my mind. We'll do, do that. So then it's just a matter of deciding what we're going to do on the inside of the ends. So when we go over here, so in here, that doesn't look terrible. It's not bad. I think it's because of the shadow helps, but we need to come up with something. 